What's up boys and kids here, welcome back to another, welcome back to another video today lads, we're going to be ranking World Cup heroes in FIFA 23. If you do enjoy smashing the subscribe, without further ado, let's get straight things boys. So I will be looking at this side for most of the video, we're going to be doing an S tier, which is going to be the absolute best ones, the most meta ones at this moment in time. Uh, the B A tier is going to be really, really good cards, for instance, um, Haaland will be S tier, Haaland is unbelievable this year. Second, you know, he's they're very good as well. They may not be as meta. It could be like the likes of Ronaldo or it could be Sal or something this year. Then B tier would probably be like the more kind of average players. You know, they're de they're decent, they're usable, but wouldn't be saying they're the best. And C tier is basically just, you know, let's stay clear of them. They're not that great. Uh, and kind of just kind of just don't use them at all to be fair. So yeah, that's gonna be basically what the S A B C tier does mean on the screen at the moment. Let's get straight into the first one as well, boys. So I have them all here. We're gonna rate them, rank them, all that kind of stuff as well. First off, we're gonna be starting with Clint Dempsey. Don't get me wrong, this card is decent. It looks good on paper and stuff as well. He is somewhat usable, but for the sake of heroes, you know, the World Cup heroes and stuff as well, I would say this guy is gonna be C tier. He's not the best, not by all means not the best. Uh, so we're going to probably put him in C tier, and he's very cheap as well, which probably is the reason as well. Next, we're going to be ranking Peter Crouch, boys. Again, another one who's like 15k. Uh, and yeah, we're going to we're gonna just get it over and done with. Don't get me wrong, if you want to use these cards, do use them. All of them are somewhat usable, but for the sake of the, um, the tier and stuff as well, the tier list, we're going to be putting Peter Crouch in the bottom there as well. Next one's actually Al Jabir. He's a very, very questionable one, his base card. It's pretty poor, but this card actually is very, um, it is an improvement on the other one as well and stuff. So what I would say with this guy, he is somewhat usable. I probably will put him in the B tier. I haven't personally used him. I used him, I think, um, his normal card before, which wasn't very good. We're going to put Al Jabir there. We're going to put him in the B tier. And again, I might change these towards the end of it or whatever, but I do think we're going to put him in the B tier. He's not unusable. He's very decent, but I just don't know how he's going to fare out with the new meta and stuff. So we're going to put him in B tier for now, right now. That's going to be that one ranked there as well. Next one, boys, is going to be Guvu. I have got him in my hero pack. If you haven't seen that as well, we have got a player review on him if you want to check him out. He is unbelievable. At the moment as well, I think he's around 700,000 coins. He is honestly unbelievable. I really, really like this card as well. Do you think he's worth 700,000 coins? Probably not. But what I'm going to rank this guy, probably using him a lot as well. I'm going to pop him in A tier. He is very, very good for me. Really, really like this card. Top tier card, in my opinion. We're going to put him in the A tier, yeah? Very, very good card. But I wouldn't say it's like the most meta card ever. But yeah. Next, boys, is going to be G Sun Park or Park G Sun. Uh, yeah, we're going to probably say this card is very, very good as well. Looking at the stats as well, mainly. A lot of these cards, well, lads, you have to think I haven't fully used them. They've been out a day or two. Uh, but yeah, we're going to rank Park as well. Uh, I think I'm going to put him as well in. He is a very, very good card from what I've hear, heard as well and stuff. So I think we're going to put him in A tier. Again, that could be controversial and stuff as well, but I do genuinely think the card is very, very good. So we're going to pop him there as well. Next one, boys, is going to be Cahill. Again, another card who is maybe not the best. He is decent as well, but I honestly think this one is going to be a B tier as well. He just He's a good card, but is he a great card or like, you know, a very, very good card? Maybe not. Again, don't get me wrong, maybe you really, really like him in game and stuff as well. But for the sake of the video and stuff as well, I do think he is going to be in the B tier there as well. So yeah. Next one, boys, is going to be Joe Cole. Again, a very, very good card, especially on paper and stuff as well. The, the actual, like, face stats look very, very good and stuff as well with the card. I probably will put this guy in an A tier. I personally haven't used him. The dynamic image as well looks class and stuff. Uh, and overall, the face stats and stuff on the card look very, very good. We're going to pop him in A tier as well there. Next one, boys, we're going to be looking at is going to be Robbie Keane. Probably one of the most exciting um, you know, cards and stuff as well. This FIFA with the likes of the new hero system and stuff as well. Uh, last FIFA as well, I mean. But uh, this year, he looks insane as well. This card is around 900,000 coins. Do you think it's overpriced? Absolutely. But do I think this guy is very, very good? Unbelievable. I think this card genuinely has to go in the S tier for me. This card is sensational. Um, I have actually used it as well on my friend's account. It is unreal, lads. Really, really top tier card. Yes, it is expensive, but for a reason as well. It is a very, very, very good card. Uh, and yeah. Next one, boys, we're going to be looking at Lumberg. Again, kind of a more questionable one as well. Last year, having his cards as well, he wasn't the best. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of just a little bit of underwhelming. You know what I mean? Again, don't get me wrong. It is a decent card, definitely usable and stuff. But what I would say with this one, it has to be B tier for me. It just doesn't really make it to the likes of, um, you know, the likes of Cole even and stuff as well. You compare them, they just don't really work as well, in my opinion. But uh, hey, that's what that is as well there. Next, boys, we're going to be going with Campos. This one is a very, very weird one as well. Kind of a different kind of card. 
Uh, it is a goalkeeper card, obviously, as well. So he does play in, in goals, obviously. And it is a very, very good goalkeeper. From what I've seen, he's not terrible. Um, obviously, as you can see, 95, um, 95 dive and 86 speed and stuff as well. He is a very, very good goalkeeper. Is he going to be the very, very good goalkeepers? Maybe not. Um, but for this one, I think I'm just going to put him in B tier. He's solid, but he's really, really short as far as I'm aware as well for a uh, goalkeeper in that. So that does um, kind of not really help him when it does come to goalkeeper position. But yeah. Next, boys, is going to be Kite, uh, a Liverpool player as well. And, well, ex-Liverpool player, I suppose you could say. And this card as well, from what I've heard, is very, very good as well. He's kind of like a... He's like an in-between A and B tier, if you get me. If there's a B plus tier or something, he could be in there. I don't think he's terrible. I don't think he's kind of average. It's kind of like in the middle of A and B for now, um, for me at the moment. So we're going to just pop him there for now. Uh, and then we're going to, you know, obviously check and stuff as well in a few minutes. But no, we, we kind of have to decide, don't we? You know what, boys? I'm going to put him in A tier. He's a very, very good card as well. I have used this card as well. But he's kind of like, I wouldn't say he's a set A tier, if you get what I'm trying to say. But... Hey, we'll put him there for now. We'll see if we need to extend this list or whatever and stuff as well. We'll have to do it. But yeah. Next one, boys, is going to be Kewell or Kewell. Sorry if I said that wrong. Um, from Australia as well. From what I've heard of this card, he is very, very good as well. But I genuinely think I haven't used this card as well either personally. But personally, I, I think it has to be a B tier. He's just kind of, there will be a lot of B tiers in my opinion. Some that are good, usable, but not really that kind of next level if you get me but yeah we're gonna put him in there just for this sake and stuff as well um and yeah we're gonna pop him there as well don't get me wrong looks good but haven't personally used him enough to kind of justify an 80 or whatever but yeah next one boys we're gonna be looking at nakata again another kind of interesting one he does look very good on paper but he looks good on paper i mean does he look very good on paper i'm not so sure he looks decent don't get me wrong i like the look of the card and stuff as well but I don't know, it's just a bit of a weird one. I think it does have to be beat here again. We might make some of these shorter as well, boys, by the way. Or smaller. I think I've gone too big with them. Because uh, there does look like there's going to be a lot of beat here. But just for now as well, I think we're going to pop them there as well, boys. Yeah. Right, boys, so I've done my best to kind of just shorten them down a little bit and stuff as well. Make them a bit smaller just for kind of the sake of the tiers and stuff. But yeah. Next one, boys, is going to be Captivilla. Villa. Do apologize if I said that wrong or whatever. And looking at the card, I haven't personally just used this one either. I've seen him in a lot of people's teams and stuff as well. He does look very, very good to be fair. I genuinely think this guy could be A tier. Again, probably haven't used him enough to kind of justify being um, any higher than that and stuff. But from what I've seen, again, I haven't really, you know, used this card enough. Or do I put him B tier? Now, for the sake of this, for the moment, we're going to put him there and see uh, where we go from there. Next one, boys, we're going to be looking at is going to be Marchisio or Marchisio. Sorry, was that wrong? Marchisio, what is that about? Uh, but yeah, we're going to probably put this guy in A tier. I mean, this or this S tier, I mean. He is unbelievable. His um, other card as well is very, very good. Um, and he's really, really expensive as well. I'm not too sure exactly kind of body type or what kind of thing it is. We're going to pop him in S tier. I haven't used him much. I used his base card a lot. Um, but yeah, he looks very, very good as well. I can't lie. Really good card. Pop him in S tier. Probably has to be there in all honesty. Uh, and yeah, that's where we're going to go with that one. Next, boys, is going to be Schmollerek. I do apologize if I said that wrong as well. And this card looks unbelievable. Like genuinely, this card looks really, really good. 94 pace, 90 shoot, 92 dribbling. It has to be A tier for me. It gen genuinely does. And actually, you know what? We're going to move this guy down there as well then, actually. Uh, Captive Villa. Again, he, I might change that again in the future, whatever. But yeah, we're going to pop him there for now as well. I think he looks class. Really, really good card. So we're going to pop him in uh, the A tier as well there. Next, boys, is going to be Donovan. Again, I'm not too sure with this one. I haven't really used him much. His base card was pathetic for me. I can't lie. Uh, so yeah, we're going to probably pop this guy in the B tier as well. Just for now. Um, and yeah, I'll make it smaller as well in a few minutes. But yeah, we're going to pop him in B tier there as well for now. Next one, boys, is going to be Al Awara. I'm uh, Al Arwin. I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, but from what I've heard of this card as well, lads, 92 dribbling, 99 pace. There is only one tier list I see for this guy. It is going to be the A tier. I do think he just belongs there. Really, really nice card as well. Um, and yeah, I don't know what it is. Just really, really good card. The pace as well, really, really good. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pop him straight there as well. I, I just think he should go there, to be quite honest. But yeah, it looks really, really good there as well. Next, boys, we're going to be looking at is going to be Marquez. I have not seen this card enough, in my opinion, to give him any higher than what I'm going to give him. I honestly think it does have to be between the B and C tier. I really do believe it's there. Yeah, boys, I was just looking at this card there as well. He can play center back as well, which does up him, in my opinion, a little bit more. But I did realize I have made a mistake, boys. We need to put Campos down here as well. I actually don't know what I was thinking. Just probably because of the actual base stats. But yeah, we're going to put him in C tier. He is usable, do not get me wrong. But I just think it needs a little bit of rejigging around. Uh, just to kind of make it 
I don't know. I just to make me a little bit more happy when I'm looking at it. But yeah, I'm going to put Marquez in uh, the B category. He's not the worst, not the best, but I just think uh, that's a good, better spot from there. Right, boys, the next one we are going to be looking at is going to be Mascherano. Again, kind of just a little bit of a weird one. I don't know. He just His pace kind of just poor. Yes, his defending and physicals are good. He's a decent CDM as well. Don't get me wrong, but do I see him really being any higher than B? Honestly, no, I really don't. The one thing I was looking at there, boys, Donovan is actually very, very good. I just, from what I've used of him, I just don't think he warrants um, an A tier, in my opinion. But don't get me wrong, he is a good card as well. Definitely a viable option. But yeah, I just don't really see him being any higher either. Right, boys, I've realized as well, I've made a big mistake here as well with Al Jabir. He just has to be dropped down here, doesn't he? Realistically. I'm looking at his price and stuff as well, lads. I've kind of made a mistake in that one, in my opinion. He just has to be bottom tier. Uh, and I've kind of just made it shorter as well, just for the B tier, because there seems to be a lot of them. Uh, and yeah, that's what we're going to just make a little change there as well. Right, boys, next one we're going to be looking at is going to be Brawlin. And honestly, this card is phenomenal. I've really, really liked using this card as well. Uh, it just is a really, really good one. I've used it on my friend's account. Again, he seems to have everything. Uh, but honestly, really, really good card here as well. The pace, the dribbling, the shooting, everything about this card. It, it just moves brilliantly as well on the ball. Brilliant finisher. Uh, and that's where I'm going to put him in as well in the A tier there. Next one, boys, is going to be JJ Akotcha again. Really interesting one as well. Will he be A tier? Will he be B tier? Um, and yeah, I don't think he warrants a C tier. That just wouldn't really be a fair in my opinion. I think we're going to have another one, boys. I think it's going to be A tier again. Uh, and just for reasons that he's really, really good. I used him in draft the other day. Really, really good card there as well. I think B tier or A tier just makes sense for him. I think he's very, very good. He's some of his icons card as well, in my opinion, were underrated. So we're going to pop him in A tier there as well. Really nice tier there for him as well. It's just fun to use, man. Again, some of this comes down to who would I rather use in kind of a way uh but yeah i just think he warrants that tier uh, and that is nice there for him as well next boys is going to be yaya toure and again there's only one place for this guy in my opinion he's nearly two million coins his um base card as well is like still a million or something he just has to be an s tier as well this guy's phenomenal in fifa this year as well in real life as well he's an absolute legend um for manchester city obviously uh, and yeah, he just has to be an S tier for me. Really, really good card in FIFA and just warrants an S tier for me. Next, boys, he's going to be Carvalho. And this one's a weird one. I probably would be thinking, like, he is definitely usable. You're looking at the card, Portuguese Premier League as well does increase the value. But 80 pace as well in the centre back, it's not bad. I just don't really see myself ever finding them a A tier standard. I, I just don't really, to be quite honest. A few pros as well that I've seen have had some luck at him and stuff. Like, I found him good to use in that. But I think a B tier for him does make uh, the most sense in my opinion. Yeah. Next, boys, he's going to be Kohler. Again, a kind of a weird one. He's just kind of there. Kind of last year as well. I'm sick of seeing him on packs, to be quite honest. I wouldn't say he's unusable, but I wouldn't say, again, he's that kind of, you wouldn't really want to use him in, in choice. Like, you get a hero back, World Cup hero back, you do not want him in my opinion. That's all I'm trying to say, but yeah. Next, boys, is going to be Lucio. Now, this card is absolutely unbelievable. I've used him in draft. He's a cheat code. Genuinely, he has to be S tier as well for me. He is unreal. I really, really enjoyed using this card. Wish I actually had him on my team and stuff. Obviously, don't, but nah, this guy's, this guy's broken. In around 1 million coins as well at the moment, he is phenomenal. Get him in your teams as well. Next one, boys, is going to be Papin. And again, it's a little bit of a weird one. I really, really want to put him in the bottom tier. Because I just don't think he's that good this year. Uh, especially gone off the kind of lengthy body type as well at the moment. The meta and stuff has changed. It would be a little bit unfair to put him in the bottom tier. But I do honestly think that's kind of where this card belongs. It isn't the best. It is, don't get me wrong, it's not the worst in the C tier. It's probably in the best. And if there was a tier between B and C, he'd probably be there. Um, but I only made four tiers just for that and stuff as well. But yeah. Honestly, though, it's a really decent card. It's not great. For starter teams as well, probably better. But um, I'm sure if you have him in your team, lads, you could get some use out of him. But for all of what I've used of him as well, it's not the best card in the world. It really, really isn't. The shooting, don't wrong. If he gets in the positions, he'll score. But just isn't really the best, in my opinion. Next, boys, is going to be Voller. And again, this card is just unbelievable. The dribbling, the shooting, the pace in this card. I used him in draft. I did so many drafts, lads, just to get to use the card to see what they're like. He is unbelievable. This card is probably one of the best, like, World Cup hero cards there are. Uh, and again, his base card as well, like, the normal hero card is very, very good as well. But yeah, I definitely get him an S tier. He's unreal uh, and just really adds, I think he adds a lot to this um, tier list as well. A different kind of dynamic of a player as well to ones we have up there. But yeah, honestly, S tier for me, really, really good card as well. And finally, lads, we do have Diego Forlan to add to this list as well. And for nostalgic kind of things as well, it probably will be the reason I put him there. 
But I am going to put this guy in S tier as well. I will. I do think. Um, and for reasons being. This card is 900k for a reason. His base card, unreal. Yes, the fact that it's kind of the meta might have changed. He mightn't be as good anymore. We will have to kind of figure that out. But honestly, I really like this card. It is decent as well. It's playing well in game and stuff as well. It isn't as good as it was um, at the start of the game as base card. But it is, don't get wrong, it's still a very, very good card. And I would say it's probably one of the best, um, especially World Cup heroes and stuff as well in FIFA at the moment. So yeah, I definitely get him in there in the S tier. And boys, I think that is going to be my overall rankings for them and stuff as well. I'm very tempted to put Donovan up to the kind of A tier. But I'm happy with that. I think so. Boys, let me know what would you change in my predictions. And again, this isn't like this A tier is all the same. I'm not going to say the park is better than, you know, the likes of Brawlin or whatever. But in kind of terms of everything, that's where I'm going to kind of place things uh, in there as well. So the S tier, we do have Keen, Marquisio, Toure, Lucia, Lucio, I mean, uh, Voller, and Forland lads. There is six of them in there. Let me know out of the 29 lads how many have I got wrong and stuff as well. Let me know in the comments any way you change that kind of thing as well. And a massive thank you for watching, boys. If you do enjoy these, we can do more of them as well in the future on any kind of promo cards and anything at all. And a massive thank you, boys, for watching. Smash the sub subscribe if you have enjoyed. And I'll catch you boys next time with the next one. Peace.